Nestled in a side street within a bustling city centre, you'll find Tyneside Cinema. A little oasis where many come to escape for an hour or two with the magic of film. Inside are four unique screens. The classic, where original newsreels were shown, the Electra, the Gallery and the Roxy. Designed and built by local entrepreneur Dixon Scott, the cinema's interior is heavily influenced by his travels across the Middle and Far East. The mosaic floor and glass windows are original features of the building, showing history remains at the heart of Tyneside. With the UK's last working newsreel theatre at risk, it's clearer than ever that there isn't another cinema quite like this one. To find out why it's so important that this cinema stays open, I asked the public why they come to Tyneside and if they'd be disappointed to see it close. I like the fact that it's a community cinema and everybody in there is friendly and especially for students it's great because they do a young Tyneside card which means that you can go and see any of the showings for £5.95. Once you get here, you get upstairs into there, it's like, it's like Alice in Wonderland because it's just your small cinema, you can sit there, no bother. It's just such a big gem up here really, like a lot, it's, it's pretty well established and known. Um, but yeah, I just think we'd, we'd lose a big landmark in that respect and also just the amount of film that you'd be able to see would be probably impacted quite a bit. I'd really be disappointed if it closed because I think it's a really great cinema for this city in particular. A lot of people around the country come to see all of their showings here. I think we should have a look the, the lottery. I do somewhere to keep it open. Despite the cinema being loved by many, are enough people coming to keep the business alive?